This is an instructional video on how to set up Terra Street. The layout comes with a box of bits. Four screws and you can undo the front. So that is the layout on display. Let's set up the controller. sits down here, remove the pipe out of the way and this plugs in to there. And this is plugging in all the track connections and then that plugs in to the mains and that's our controller powered up. And this pit comes out, and take that out, this is the tube which goes onto the smoke machine, more about that later. So this is the controller, it's track one and track two. Track one controls the locomotive at the front in the brewery shunting yard. And that's forward and turn power up and down and reverse and turn the power up and down. And it's got a central neutral off position. It's the same for track two, it's in a neutral off position at the minute and it can go forward or reverse. But this doesn't really make much difference. You put it in, say, forward, put it up to a certain power rating and that is now being controlled by the automatic shuttle and that's sending power one way and then after a few seconds the other and you can hear it perhaps clicking as it does that and this controls the terrier that I put on top of the viaduct there's one powered track the one at the back and that is what the automatic shuttle is controlling so that train just shuttles back and forth up to the train derailment and that's what that controls now you can alter the speed of the train but that's all that's all that that does and it doesn't matter if it's forward or reverse because the shuttle just reverses it every now and again anyway so let me show you that operating so this is the terrier and i've put that on the back because it's a passenger train it's more suited to be on the viaduct now as i put it on there i've already given it some i'll give it some power and it should go now it's hit the point in the track where there's a diode and after a little while it was shuttled the other way there it goes. Now the reason it's stopping there is because I put a couple of coaches behind it. And that is set exactly to stop at the right point for the end of the layout. And that now shuttles along every now and again. And as I say I can alter the speed with the controller. But that seems to be about right, and that's set at about 50. It's actually set at about 70 on the controller, but if I set that down to 50, it, it shuttles back and forth a little bit slower. So you just leave that, and that's something operating on the layout all the time. So now let's show you down here in the shunting yard. So the shunting yard is controlled by this. So I have to put it onto forward and then give it some power, and that will drive the pug forward on there. So here is the pug going forward along the shunting yard and now I put the controller in reverse and it's going in reverse and that will go up and down all day as you drive it. Now you can alter the points and that now sends it going down another lane. Sometimes it needs a push, there we go. And that will go down there. I think the track needs it clean. Now to improve electrical conductivity, I just get a little bit of rag and some surgical spirit, spray that on there, and then clean the track with that. And you can see the dirt on there. So that's quite an effective and cheap way of cleaning the track. You can also use a very mild sandpaper. Very mild, if you wish. There you go. And you can also clean the wheels on the engines as well. So 
So I'm just cleaning the wheels of the pug and you can see that's got some some dirt off it. Then I need to turn it around a little bit and clean the other part of the wheel. And do that three or four rotations. That's about right. I can use the motion as a guide as to how far around the wheel's gone. And there we are. That's clean the wheels. It's ready. And that will stay clean for quite a few days, quite a few runs, depending on how much you use it. I've also got this powered wagon, it's got a motor in it and you can also use that as well if you want to behind the locomotive and it just gives an extra little bit of push or you can just use a regular wagon. There we go. It doesn't have to have a powered wagon behind it, but it just gives it an extra chance to go really slowly over a set of points and not stop. Because if the train breaks electrical contact, the wagon still carries on.